It has been a while since I last tried Huda Beauty eyeshadow. It has been so long. The last time I tried her formula was with the new nude eyeshadow palette and we all know a lot has happened since then. But for some reason she got me with the icy nude. I don't know what came over me but I decided to buy it. Well I know what came over me. I love cool tones. I love neutral cool tones and I just thought this color story looked really beautiful and I got curious like am I missing out on Huda Beauty? At the same time this is her last big palette apparently supposedly. I don't know to what extent that is a marketing tactic and she's just gonna like come back with like a 12 pen or like a slightly smaller palette than this type of palette which I wouldn't mind. This color story just really spoke to me. Let's try it out. I'm gonna do a look with it. I'm just gonna share my first impression thoughts. We're just gonna be playing with this palette. Okay so I already did my swatches so I already have some things to say. First of the packaging I find not super inspiring, not super super luxurious feeling. It is pretty heavy, that is true, but I just think it doesn't feel like super luxurious. Also on the back we just have a sticker. I just, I also don't even like the way the back looks. I just feel like this is too simple for the price that you're paying. Like make a really cool packaging and it got me like I love like inspiring packaging that also gives me the vibes of the palette. Like this could be like a winter wonderland situation but that isn't what we got. Then the actual palette. I think the color story looks pretty nice. I like that we have some really light shades. I think it makes it really versatile. It goes from light to deep. We have some different tones. Like it's not all like grayish. We also have some like brownish and mauve tones which I do like. In the swatches I did notice there are a lot of different formulas in the shimmers. By the way we also have a pressed glitter here. For me that is a throwaway shade. I'm not gonna put that on my eye. I feel like this is very unnecessary and I feel like that's kind of like a standard with Huda Beauty. Like there's always some weird Petri dish-esque shade and well at least this doesn't make the palette look bad but I'm not gonna touch that. And then we have Diamond Dew and VVS and those feel so thick, like so, so thick and kind of like creamy and super like flaky thick. So we're definitely gonna try one of those out on the eyes to see how that looks, like if that's even flattering. Then Ice Out is kind of like this iridescent shade. It does have quite a nice glow to it. All in all, I quite like the color story, but I'm also kind of like a connoisseur of neutral cool eyeshadow palettes. So is this gonna be like up to my standards? Also, would I rather just reach for one of my cool toned indie palettes like that's kind of like a question i want to answer was i right by buying this palette or did i just fall for it like for the marketing tactics okay so i want to try some different types of mattes i want to try some different types of shimmers we'll be doing one look so i'm gonna see how much i can fit on my eyes i think i'm gonna start out with the shade lavish by the way i do think that lavish and high life are gonna be pretty similar on the eyes i don't think there's gonna be a huge difference with those i don't think we needed both of them even though the undertone is like slightly different like sometimes you don't even see it. So as I said, I'm basically going in blind. I don't have a lot of experience with the Huda Beauty formula. I do have to say the new nude that I used to have, but I decluttered it. I never really touched it. I did kind of like the vibe of it, but I never used it. Okay, this is going quite well. Like this is quite a nice matte. This is looking pretty good. So I'm wondering if I'm really going to be reaching into this palette. I think the color story of this is probably better for me than the new nude. Because that new nude pulled really warm on me. And like it wasn't exactly what I expected from the pan. And sometimes when something doesn't turn out on my eyes as it does in the pan. It really turns me off from it. Because I can't really like predict. I can't really consciously choose my eye look. Okay, that is looking pretty good. I quite like the shade. I like the blend. I feel like it's pigmented enough. I think I'm gonna apply the shade Poised on the lower lash line. So this is more of a gray shade in the palette. There's not too much gray in this palette, I think. If you are not a huge fan of gray, there is still a lot of different looks that you can do. Like, that is going under my eyes pretty well. 
I do like a bit of gray, but I like it combined with other colors, with something a little bit more neutral or even warm. Then I think I want to go into the shade called Unapologetic, this one over here. It's not a deeper shade in the palette, but it's a little bit deeper than what we have going on now. I'm gonna take a little bit more of a precise brush. And we're just gonna see how we can build these shades on top of each other. And I would say this Unapologetic isn't like really cool toned. It's more like a shade that complements cool toned looks. I feel like that is blending out quite nicely. These shades are relatively powdery in the pan, but when are shades not? Like, what's a formula that isn't this powdery in the pan? I feel like this happens a lot. But yeah, this is building up pretty nicely, but it's not gonna be like super, super pigmented. Or I mean, it's not gonna be like super, super like deep because it's not that deep of a shade. But I do like my mid-tone looks. I don't mind them. I don't mind them at all. But you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna deepen this up even a little bit. And I think I'm gonna go into the shade Faux Fur. I'm just gonna take that same precise brush and I'm just gonna like deepen up the outer corner a little bit more with it. Just like more precisely. I do feel like these blend into each other quite nicely. I think that's looking pretty good. Like so far, no complaints about the mattes. And I'm gonna take that same matte, so faux fur, and I'm gonna deepen this lower lash line up a little to just kind of like blend everything together, connect it. And I'm gonna take a clean brush and I'm gonna blend the edges a bit. But like, it's already looking pretty blended without that, but I just wanna go over it. A little bit. All right, that's looking pretty good. Let's get into the shimmers. I'm really curious about these. I think I first want to go into the shade Aurora. That one actually looks really nice in a swatch. Very like mirror-like shine, really beautiful and quite smooth. I think this one is gonna be like a nice shimmer, like a shimmer that I am gonna enjoy. It has a bit of a texture to it. Like that is beautiful. It's applying really easily. Like, from the swatch, I could already tell this was going to be a shimmer that I was going to like. I think that's really pretty. You do have to be a bit careful because it's really creamy. Like, you only have to dip in a little bit. Make sure you don't dig into these pants. But that is beautiful. That is a really stunning color. And now I really want to try one of these really, like, flaky shimmers. I think I'm going to go into the one in the VVS. I don't know what that means. I have no idea what that is. A VVS? Never heard of it. Okay, I'm gonna dip in very carefully. I have a little bit on my finger. I really hope this is... This is so thick. You feel the thickness on your finger as you're applying it. It's like trying to apply sand on your eye. And okay, usually sand doesn't stick, but it feels very, very textured and thick and... Like, it's a little hard to apply, but it looks, it looks gorgeous. I have to say, that looks really beautiful. But that was a little bit of a struggle to apply. I think that won't really work with a brush. But the glow that it gives is really nice. So it's kind of like, it's not as easy to apply, but once you get it on, it looks good. I'm gonna take a little less, like, even less, and see what happens then. Like, it's still really, like crumbly feeling on the eye and there is definitely some fallout that i'm gonna have to clean up like it's really pretty and i think it might be worth it, it might be worth it but yeah you really have to smooth it out with your finger i think it's not gonna be too easy to apply with a brush i don't know if it will smooth out but i have to get it even now because the other side i Applied so much and it's really thick. So is this kind of even? Like there's fallout all over my face. But at the same time, it's looking kind of good on my eyes. Like I'm kind of liking that. <laughs> I have mixed feelings. Okay, for the inner corner, I really want to try one of these lighter mitts. And I'm going to go into this one, IDGAF. And I'm gonna apply that in my inner corner. And I really hope that this is gonna be a good icy pink. Yes, that's pigmented. That is really nice. 
Is it looking super pink? No, it's like almost white, but I do like it for this type of icy themed palette. I'm liking that for sure, like that. It looks good, okay, it looks good. I'm gonna go with the shade Iced Out. I really wanna try out that shade and I'm gonna apply it on my lower lash line towards the front. Gonna grab a pencil brush and I hope this is gonna work with the brush. Mm, I don't know if that's really sticking with the brush. Like with the brush is really subtle. I'm gonna try and apply a little more. Okay, this is this is better. I like the kind of like purpley shift that this one has. It adds a little bit of color, a little bit of interest to a palette that's not super like colorful. I do like that. It does give me like winter wonderland vibes. I think for the last step in this look, I'm gonna go with She's Rich. I'm gonna use that as my shadow liner. This one has a little bit of a like very blackened, purpley brown color to it. And I'm gonna apply that just here towards my lashes. I just love a shadow liner. And I'm gonna apply a little right over here. I'm gonna use another like Cupid's Arrow in Mauve in my waterline. And now I'm gonna clean up my face, I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup, and then I'll be back with some thoughts. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I really like the finished look that I have here. I really love how my eyes came out. I think this is such a nice kind of like winter, like sparkly festive look. And I'm liking this more than I was expecting. I was a little scared, to be honest, that I was really gonna dislike this palette, that I was really gonna dislike this look. And you know, it's not a perfect palette. We do have a glitter shade in there. We do have these kind of like thicker shades that are a little bit harder to apply. There are some shades that seem a little similar swatched out. So it's definitely not like fully without a thought worth the price that you're paying for these. I am personally pretty excited about it because I love cool tones. I love these types of shades. I do think that most of this, what I tried has worked really well, but it's really up to you. Do you think this is worth it for you? I think if you have a lot of cool tones in your collection, then you don't really need it. It is not dead revolutionary and I do feel like I have some palettes that could give me a similar type of effect maybe not exactly because I do feel like that thicker shimmer is unlike anything I have in my collection but yeah this is definitely at least to some extent dupable I do have a video on my channel talking about my favorite cool tone eyeshadow palettes and as I told you I really love cool tones like they are my thing that's what I wear a lot of the time so I will link that video as well and yeah this is just a first impression i'm gonna use this palette more if you want to see more looks let me know and then i will come back in a new makeup updates and let you know how i really feel about it i will try it out thoroughly but so far i'm pretty happy with this look let me know what you think and if you're gonna pick up this palette and i will see you in my next video bye bye